Hey guys, welcome back. And now we're going to go into music apps that I use. Some of them are must-haves and some of them are if you're into music making of any sort. First, we're going to go into just playing music. Okay, so playing music is real fun. Okay, I like to use Winamp. Now, Winamp has been it's a really old app okay it's not an application it was a computer program and it's one of the most famous computer programs for music playing files on your computer mostly mp3 files all right Winamp has been around since uh, probably like 1998 and it was a go-to program for anybody who had music on their computer who wanted to play it it also includes a lot of different functions on the computer which are still relevant today if you want underground internet radio this is the application for you all right, I love this uh, application, and I paid five bucks for it. I think uh, you can get the APK now for free on the internet. Um, I highly suggest that you do because it's one of the most, one of the best programs uh, still today. So, what you do is you come in here, and you'll. This is basically the setup that you see in the beginning. Now, I like to listen to internet radio, so I go to Shoutcast, and you can pick top stations. And it'll give you a list of all the top stations all around the world to play. Uh, some in different formats. So you have 128K. Uh, you have 96K. 64K. And you will see that they play from all over the world, man. You get Middle East music. You get Europe, Eastern European music. European music. UK music. If you go into my favorite stations here, you'll see Break Pirates. 24-7 NSB UK, Gremlin Radio, New Breaks, these are some of my favorite channels I listen to all the time. Um, and of course with the Bluetooth and unlimited data plans, this is the program to have, okay? Alright, so that's just one application. So we'll go into the second one here for music. We're going to go into SoundCloud. SoundCloud is, of course, you're familiar with the website, so I don't pretty much have to go into this. Basically, you sign in your account and you can play stuff. What's really neat about this unfortunately is on Winamp it's really hard to find no copyright sounds so on SoundCloud you can go to no copyright sounds and you can play the music right there which is real nice I will warn you though the default settings for um, SoundCloud for no copyright music it will play copyrighted music if you continue to play the playlist the playlist spills over into copyrighted music so remember that if you're gonna be doing things like streaming or stuff in the background of any video that you're gonna put online all right, so what else we got? We got Loop Stack. Now, Loop Stack is a really good hip hop. You can beatbox with this thing, but what I don't like about it is that it's been kind of abandoned. But it's the same people who make G, G Stomper. That's why I downloaded the free version. I didn't pay for the paid version because, like I said, it hasn't been updated in a really long time. <laughs> So, for the most part, uh, this is a really good program for if you want to do beatbox, loop stack. Okay, what else are we going to go here? Alright, now we're going to get into some music making. So, we're just going to go through this real fast, okay? I'm not going to go in-depth this. This is not an in-depth thing. This is just something that I'm showing the different programs on my tablet that I mess around with on a daily basis. We have Vocality TTS. Now, what this is, is you can make little beats on the fly. A little fun to mess around with. I can't remember where I got this, but this is one of the... One of the programs that I have used in the past to mess around with. Now, if you want to make music, okay, you can use um, your uh, Fruity Loops, but I prefer some of these other programs like this one here. This is G Stromper Studio. This one's kind of fun to mess around with, and I have used it to create beats in the past. It's by Planet H. It gets updated fairly often, and you can do uh, a multitude of stuff here. Um, I'm not going to go into all of it, but you got your mixers. Okay, it's very responsive. You can use this to make some pretty nasty sounds. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But you can make simple beats with this, man. And it really is fun to play with. Um, again, it's G-Stomper Studios. And I have a lot of fun with this, okay? 
Now this is just a basic beat that came with it, but um, there are many other different types of beats that you can get for free that come with this. Uh, if you don't know where to start, if you don't know where to start with your beat making skills, um, you can use the G Stomper uh, proprietary beats in order to start creating your own. So. I have done this in the past and I find it really fun to play around with. Right? Alright, so that just gives you a little overview um, of G Stomper Studio. Uh, we are going to discard and exit. Alright, so there you go. There's your, your first music making. Second one is Caustic. Now this one's a little bit uh, difficult to learn. Uh, it has a pretty big learning curve, but um, I do find it enjoyable. So between G Stomper Studio and Caustic, I think pretty much you are like, you're a god with making uh, music. Again, you can load your own little loops and put them in here, which is real nice. But this one here is basically, you have all these different modules. All these different modules. You can basically look at the back end of all the different modules and hook them up however you want, which is just crazy. All these different synthesizers, these different trans tracks. Uh, let's see if we can just go ahead and play it. I think I already have something in here that I was working on. You can make some really eerie space music with this thing. Okay, so here you have your touch pads, okay, drag to order, okay, these are all the different types of machines that you can you can run in here. If you want to do loops, you could do loops so that it plays again and again, but most of these here, you can also wire the back, the back side of it. Say you want to do the, the void coder. We're going to see if we can load one of these guys into the void coder here. Now with this one here, you can uh, basically use it like Fruity Loops, where you just put in the uh, different instruments and where exactly you think they'd sound good. Uh, so with Fruity Loops, basically it's most like a pattern. So here you can set up your patterns. You can name each one of these instruments and then basically play them all uh, side by side. Alright, so we're going to get out of here. So there you go, there's Caustic. That's, again, fun to play. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, we have Leon. Now this one is great for... If you have test equipment, or if you want to make music, you can use this to make really funny noises. You can change the frequency range, you can change... So that's Leon. Okay, what else? Okay, then you have your walk band. Now I found this to be very interesting. This is, this, okay, if you want like a basic music maker, and you're not serious about it, and you just want to mess around, this is probably the best program. Now, I bought the full version because uh, the ads were intrusive and also 
uh, you get a little bit more functionality out of it. If you just want to mess around with the keyboard, you can do that. And I also like the fact that it has a double keyboard. You get the top and the bottom. I think that walk band is probably one of my favorites um, as far as just, you know, sit, sitting around doing nothing. Now, if you were to play this, you could put this in your hand and you could actually strum it and use your thumb of your other hand to say where the chords are that you want to play. So, this is Walk Band. I find this highly entertaining. Now, this one here. If it's better for you to just use a soundboard, then you can do that. So, there you go. There's your drum kit. You want to use your drum machine. Now with this here, you can play patterns, and then you can have them kind of like Fruity Loops. You have a synthesizer here you can use. If you want to use different pitches to change it. All right. So down here we got your bass. It's kind of like your guitar, but this is going to play bass. Here's your records manager. Now basically you, what you can do is you can make make your own little uh, little beat, right? You can save it and you can upload it onto, um, I think their website. But even if you can't put it on your website, yeah, there it is. Okay, you can go to the music zone here. Okay, they have their own website where you can basically put your own little, uh, little grooves on there, which is kind of nice. But again, Walk Band to me is real nice. You have your uh, multi-recording track, your MP3. Basically, you can export the song, um, import a song, import a beat. So that's uh, that's another one of my my favorite little music apps. Okay, then basically you can have your. This is like a. This is for caustic. This gives you more um, things that you can use. Memory is ninety percent full. Clear all samples. These are different samples that I have used and made. Uh, in my spare time. Um, after you make beats, you can put them in here uh, and you can further edit them. It's kind of like a, uh, gives you some more benefits towards caustic. Now this one here, um, it, I liked it because it gave more synthesizers towards certain beats. So I found that to be, uh, it gave more space type sounds that weren't found in caustic or G Stomper Studios. And that's why I picked this one up. It's all. It's called Synprez FM. I highly recommend this if you want to get into some space, 2001 Odyssey type beats. It gives you uh, a different range of synthesizers, and that's why. And this one here is free, so this one didn't cost me anything. So anyway, there you go. There's my music beats my music applications that I use on Android when I'm sitting around bored at the airport bored doing nothing again you get your caustic and your G Somper studios those are the two of my favorite Winamp another one of my favorite but that's just playing music loop stack I wish they'd upgrade it and then if they did upgrade it I would buy the full version some of the other ones are just supporting vocality your caustic editor your Suprens, your Leon, those are basically supporting for Caustic or G Somper Studios. And then your Walk Band, which is your standalone. This would be your uh, beginner music application. I found that to be very fun to play with. But if you want to get serious about making music, Caustic and G Stomper Studio are the way to go, in my opinion. Uh, Fruity Loops, I think, is good. 
Uh, I think it has a very steep learning curve. I did play around with it in an earlier version. If you were to get Caustic or G-Stomper Studio, it's a considerably less than Fruity Loot. Again, Bodaga Deuces. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Comment, like, subscribe.